Good evening. No, because I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where to look. Anyways, I just had the best idea. Welcome to a night of my life because I have somehow managed to turn not sleeping into a personality trait. It's currently like six o'clock. So I thought I would start it a little early. So it's gonna be like evening slash night. First order of business is figuring out what I wanna make for dinner because I need to make something because I've had Chick-fil-A like 80, 12 billion times this week, this month, forever. But the problem is that I don't have any food. So we're gonna have to go to the store. So let's go to the fucking store. I know this video has been a long time coming and I've talked about making a YouTube channel for so long, but I just wanted my first video to be perfect. And I feel like this is a very accurate representation of me as a person. A raging insomniac with severe ADHD. Let's go. Quick fit, quick fit, quick, quick fit check. Oh my God. I know people think that I dress up like every single day, um, but even if I do dress up, I wear that for like an hour and then I change into something like this. So my shorts are from Zara. This is from, I have no idea. Shoes are Air Forces. Um, and that's all I'm wearing. Someone said hot girls wear black disposable masks. And that was enough for me to buy a pack of 100. I haven't decided if I'm gonna go to Target or Trader Joe's. Well, I haven't even decided what I want to eat. I really just want to go to Chick-fil-A, but I told myself I wasn't going to do that. Also, remind me to get my mail whenever I come back up. Ooh, nice. Oh my god. Stay. Okay. Oh, fuck. I like Trader Joe's, but I'm not dressed for Trader Joe's. I feel like you have to be dressed to fucking impress to walk into Trader Joe's. But maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me being a little bitch. But I'm going to go to Target and play it safe. Um, hopefully we find what we need. <laughs> how do people, how do people drive and vlog at the same time? I look stupid as fuck. Driving is literally like my therapy. I love driving, um, especially at night, like in the city, but driving in LA, I hate it so much. And it's not because there's like traffic. It's because like, I don't know my way around. And so I like have to map like everything. And it's so irritating because you can't just like turn on my music and like drive where I need to go. Like I have to actually pay attention to the map and like read the street signs. So sometimes I just like get on the highway and I just like drive until I like want to go home. Also, I have not been to like a normal Target in so long, like since I lived in Texas. Cause all of the ones here are like weirdly like on top of other things or they're just like, they're like right. I mean, like it's a city, it's a fucking city, Hannah. So there's not going to be like a standalone Target. Every Target I've been to, <coughs> it's always a hit or miss it's either like a pretty decently sized one and it has like most of what you need or you go and they're like out of everything except for like q-tips and potatoes okay but this lighting though i'm sorry all right we made it to target also i forgot to mention driving without tint period but driving without tint in la is <laughs> it's so embarrassing i don't know why but it's so embarrassing like if you pull up next to me at a red light, you can see what I'm doing in 4K. Like, there's no, there's nothing on here. Like, anyways, let's fucking go get some dinner. Every time I want to go to Target, I pick the times. Oh, shit, I need to get my mail. Nice. I think it's time for a haul. Is the lighting so good right now? I've heard people say that this tastes like shit, but I've also heard people say that it's good. I thought that it was gonna be like super like healthy, but it's not like that much healthier. So if it tastes like shit, then it's not worth it. But I wanted to make that decision for myself. I got shredded chicken instead of like chicken breast because I don't want to cook it because it, it takes too long. And then we also needed, fuck. Um, pepper and cinnamon. So I got those. Oh, and then I got celery juice. But I don't drink celery juice because I'm like, oh, healthy, meh, LA. I drink it because I actually like it. And I think it's because it's like salty 
because like I have a really bad sodium problem. Like I put salt on everything. I'm like obsessed with salt and my mom thinks I'm gonna like die of a heart attack. Anyways. Not hungry right now, so I'm not gonna make dinner, but I thought that I would do a little unboxing. I'm so good at this. Stop, I'm so good at this. Anyways, I thought I would do a PR unboxing because I have one other one that I just got from the mail that I need to open. Um, and I don't know what it is, so we're gonna find out maybe if I can fucking open it. Holy shit. I literally have no idea what this is. Oh, okay. It's Biosance. I think it's a skincare brand. They wanted to send me stuff so that if we want to do like a collaboration in the future, I like actually like the product, which I really appreciate. Like, cause I don't want to be like promoting something that I don't actually like just for money. Now that I like see behind the scenes, I wonder like how many influencers are doing that. Like I see an ad for like, some like skincare brand and i'm like how do i even know that i can trust you because like i see i have been offered like large amounts of money to promote things and it's like i can't like morally do that without actually loving the product okay i just literally almost cut myself anyways this is from shop rumors and i knew i was getting this yeah okay so this is just one of those like it literally looks like a just a piece of cloth but it's like really stretchy and it's one of those tops that you can like wrap like a bunch of different ways. I think I'm gonna make a TikTok about that, like different ways you can tie that shirt. Oh my God, this is so cute. And then just this little button up. I think this will be cute like over um, swimsuits this summer, like a white swimmy. That would be so cute. All right, busted out the tripod for my hair. Busted up the tripod for this one. I literally look like I walked out of a 2000s movie. Okay, let's do this. Um, okay, it says boil eight, ow, eight cups of water. Well, I need a pot. I hope this is big enough. Let's put water in it. I also definitely did not measure that. And I guess gas stoves like heat up faster than, er, Wait, what? Yeah, gas stoves heat up faster than electric ones, I guess. I did not know that. So the amount of things that I've burned in this kitchen is ridiculous. My favorite kind of pasta, I can't get over my hair. Oh my God. Favorite kind of pasta is penne, but they didn't have this. <laughs> it just keeps getting worse. Um, they didn't have penne, so I got This is a joke, right? This is a joke. Anyways, I got this kind, this swirly kind. And this is made out of chickpeas, I guess. That pasta guy on TikTok that like makes the pasta and he's like aggressively calling you a bitch the entire time, says that you need to put like hella salt in your water. Um, so I'm gonna do that. I don't know really how much but he says to put like a lot seriously oh my god okay so this is how much i'm doing but i mean i do love salt okay so while that's boiling i'm going to cut my brussels sprouts oh i should preheat the oven oh i always forget until after and then i have to wait <coughs> I just coughed right onto my box of water. It's only me eating it, so it's fine. Is YouTube gonna take this down if I show the knife? I probably shouldn't do that. Brussels sprout. Cooking with Hannah. The water's boiling. Also, I feel like I should pre pre preface this by saying that I have no idea what I'm doing. I am not, you know, I am not a chef, but it tastes good, so. I cut them into like halves like this and the bigger ones I cut into fourths so that they all kind of cook the same. Look at me talking like I know what I'm talking about. Sometimes I use like the leaves and I make like Brussels sprout chips. Okay, this is really boiling so I feel like I should do something about that. Add bonza and stir immediately, okay? 
Oh, I don't. Oh, I don't know how much to do. All right, stir immediately. Um, it doesn't say to reduce the heat, but this is like really boiling, so I'm going to anyways. Life hack, tin foil, so you don't have to clean the pan after, or you don't have to clean it as much. All right, so I need a bowl. Yeah, that's like really foaming right now. Like, I'm extremely worried. Like, <laughs> look at this! I feel like it's not supposed to look like that. I really feel like that's wrong. Okay, I'm gonna stir it. That actually looks kind of disgusting. So when your Brussels sprouts are in the bowl, I take olive oil, like, mm, I actually don't know how much, like that much. Do lots of salt, oh, garlic salt, and pepper. Am I doing this wrong? What, what's happening? Wait, that was actually kind of a lot. Okay, um, stir the pasta occasionally. Nice. Then, so I don't have to get, whoa, whoa. So I don't get my hands dirty, I put a paper plate on top of this, and I just shake it so that they're all fully coated. Nice. Look at that. The oven is ready because I was so responsible and proactive. But I do need to set a timer for 25 minutes. Also, it's at 425. Okay, so timer, sick. Oh. Stir the pasta occasionally. Okay, this feels, I don't know. You know what, actually, yeah, it does feel ready. Oh, shit, where is the strainer? Oh, in the dishwasher. Pasta into the Oh, oh my God. Nice. Oh shit, the stove is still on. So I decided I don't want pesto anymore. I want like vodka sauce. Um, that looks like enough. Okay, so definitely not enough. Also, um, Gwenny, who is my roommate, is not home right now, so that's why she's not being featured right now. Dinner for one? I'm struggling so hard right now. Ummy! I really hope it tastes good. Taste test. It's pretty good. Literally, all I put on it was that Oh my god, those are so good. I'm so good at cooking Brussels sprouts, it's not even funny. I'm gonna go eat this. Maybe I'll do some self-care, who knows? I think I want a cupcake. Got my slippers. I don't know if I want banana or cinnamon today, or maybe a cookie. All right, we're here and I just curbed the fuck out of my car. Do I need to pay the, um, I'm not paying the meter. The meter can pay me, shit. Arrest me! Wait, the meter's not even running. I'm such a fucking dumbass. Are you kidding me? You're lying. I was so excited too. I ha I was about to say I haven't had one in so long. I had one last night. Oh my god. Maybe that's a sign that like I shouldn't be getting another. I guess I'll just go back home. That's so boring. Uh, actually, I probably will just go for a drive. Listen to some Chase Atlanta. Can I make this brighter? Oh, nice. It's 2 a.m. and I've been watching Criminal Minds for like the past three hours. I get so sucked in and I like can't stop watching it. But I need to take my makeup off, so. I don't know shit about skincare. I usually just wash my face and then use moisturizer and like benzoyl peroxide. I thought maybe I would do face mask, but I don't know if I have one. Um, and I also don't really know like what kind that like I should use. I don't know what kind of skin I have. Like whenever I go and like get stuff at Sephora, they're like, what is your skin type? Oily, da, da, da. And I'm like, I don't, I actually have no idea. I'm probably not making any sense right now. I'm just taking my makeup off with micellar water. Fuck. Dang, these suck. I got the basic ones instead of the premium ones. And because I didn't think that it would make a difference. But 
surprise, surprise. Would you look at that? A face mask. This is one my mom gave me. It says it has CBD in it. I don't really know what that means, but... Ew, it's like really slimy. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, I see. This side feels more slimy, so I feel like... <gasps> Did it just break? No. Oh wait, yeah, fuck, it's upside down. Okay. This is terrifying. Hold on. <laughs> I can't even laugh because it's gonna fall off. I don't know what I look like, but I know that it's like familiar. Like it, it's something in my head that I'm like, I look like da da da, but I don't know what it is. I am also realizing that if I, I, I need an intro, but I don't know how to make that. So there's probably like a tutorial on YouTube, right? To like have an intro. So I want it to be black on top of black, <laughs> but I know that's not possible. So maybe like black with a drop shadow or black or like a very dark gray. Okay, this is like falling off of me. I'm gonna be back whenever I take this off. I hate washing my face. Of course I'm wearing a sweatshirt. Also while I was filming this, I ran out of storage. So I had to buy two terabytes. So what that means is that I have to stay committed to YouTube. Like I have to keep doing it because I paid for all of this storage. Now I'm gonna use this. Ronan and Fields, whatever. This stuff is like $200, so I don't recommend you buy it. The only reason why I have it is because my mom, like whatever, she gets it. What it is, is just benzoyl peroxide. Um, so anything with that is like similar if you want to use what I use. I don't know why I use it, but I do. And this is the face wash I use, just this. I wanna get out of there. I don't know if I should tan. Maybe I should just like not. Who knows though, I'm up for like another three hours. So. I don't know how much of it I'm gonna film though because usually once it gets like 3 a.m. I don't do anything exciting. I just kind of watch Marvel interviews or watch fucking Criminal Minds. Good morning. <laughs> it's like 5 a.m. and I've been watching, uh, well, I switched on and off between Criminal Minds and Dead to Me because Dead to Me is actually kind of good. But yeah, I'm pretty sure you can literally see the sun peeking through my blinds right now. I'm not sure when or if I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm like not tired, but I know that I should probably sleep for at least like three hours. I have a lot of stuff to do tomorrow but I think I'm gonna make the ending to this video tomorrow. Cause I hate whenever people do vlogs and like at the very end they're like, oh, oops, sorry, I forgot to film, but bye. So I'm gonna film that tomorrow. All right, it's the next day. Um, I slept for like two hours. I'm feeling refreshed. I just took a shower, um, but that is going to be the end of my first YouTube video. I really enjoyed vlogging. I do also when I do like some sit down videos where I like do tutorials or unboxings or anything like that. But I really hope you guys liked this and I will see you in the next one.